Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What is up with you, Sagittarius? Something new for Sagittarius. Something new for Sagittarius. Mm. Oh, neon moon. I'll be all right. As long as there's light from a neon moon. Oh. So, fake feelings there. Who is uh, manifesting these fake feelings? Mm. <sighs> Portal, a new door's opening, beginning opportunities and adventure. There you go, Sagittarius. There's that uh, neon moon vibe, so... Damn. Uh, be mindful of stuck stagnant energy. Be mindful of stuck stagnant relationships or partnerships. Some of you are getting like an interesting opportunity. Don't muck that energy up. Stay focused on you. This is good retrograde vibes as well. Someone likes the comfortableness they have with you, Sagittarius, but that comfortableness doesn't quite work for you anymore. So however this relationship or partnership is when it comes to you, It's kind of like you're getting rid of somebody's favorite chair, only in this instance, it's kind of like that relationship or partnership where you kind of get that sense of comfortableness, but it's really not, um, it, it doesn't work anymore. Queen of Wands, there you are. Work, love, life vibes with you as well. Uh, here's Sagittarius. So, ooh. some of you could be ro watching rom-coms. Some of you could be thinking that life is like a rom-com. Uh, they never do like the follow-ups. Uh, that would be something interesting for a director to do, right? Uh, right where they end the movie, pick up the sequel from there and see how it all sort of plays out. The same problems are there. The same issues are always there. Uh, for a lot of like that last minute attempt to change everything to make everything better just to keep that comfortableness so Sagittarius maybe some of you need to learn to be comfortably uncomfortable so this is all about change this is all about change though not everyone's gonna like this uh, sort of switch up when it comes to you Ooh, there's the Three of Swords. There's the Scorpio vibe. Ooh, Crosswatcher vibes. Uh, some of you would be amazed at this. Uh, who could be missing the comfortableness they have within your energy? Being uh, in your vibe. Crown on that. You got the Knight of Swords. Red light, yellow light, green light, go. So someone knows you're already making changes. Someone knows that some of you, you already got one foot out the door. Or the change is coming. So there's not a whole lot that they can really do. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer on this. Because your astrology could be factoring in on this for you. And there's the five of wands. Oh. Oh, you know what that feels like? Cause I'm working my way back to you, babe. With a burning love inside. Is it a burning love inside or just a burning sensation? That's a basic. There's the Hierophant. I feel you know better. There's the Eight of Wands. There's the Eight of Swords. Ooh, and there's the Capricorn energy with you. So, make sure you're doing your shadow work. Make sure you're doing your shadow work. Ooh, those, if you're going through something on a spiritual vibe, this is like very interesting and intense too. So, damn. This is like your higher self thinking the positive, and this is like uh, what you need to be mindful of. Ooh, it's never lack of opportunities, it's quality of. Look at this for you. I love this vibe with you, Sagittarius. Some of you, you know, love is codependency. Love is, codependency is kind of built into it. 
But you have to be mindful of that. Your love language, their love language, whatever the terms of the relationship or partnership are, uh, who likes things the way they are, who's able to kind of flex and flow uh, when it comes to the relationship or partnership. Those of you that's wanting to change, those of you that's wanting to broaden your horizons, look at things differently, but realizing you need more room to grow. Who's the secondary uh, energy that comes in and does just enough to kind of keep everything going, but they really don't put too much time, energy, or effort into it? Quit over-romanticizing something. Ooh. Neon moon vibes. Okay. There's the chariot. There's the star card. Archangel Michael energy. What's your inspiration right now? Someone knows this uh, kind of switch up is coming when it comes to you. So there's uh, not a whole lot that they can change. Oh, oh my goodness. Those of you, if you over romanticize um, your relationships or partnerships. Why the hell hasn't anybody done like the, the sequel to the rom-com, right? Where they get to that point and they do that. Oh, don't leave. I love you. Blah, blah, blah. And then... How does that actually play out in the end? Most people are leaving to go somewhere anyway. So it's not like they're going to have that conversation. It's like that moment in time, right? And then they go off and do their own things. What happens when that comeback around energy is? So some of you could be having that conversation. Some of you have had that conversation. Those of you, if you're not in a relationship or partnership, this could be that uh, opportunity that shows up for you that you need to be ready for. You need to be ready to uh, uh, go out there, do what you do. Live life, love life, enjoy life. This is really good retrograde vibes. So it's uh, who mucks up your energy or who kind of brings about that liberating vibe when it comes to you. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Your astrology could be factoring in on this. I definitely feel like someone knows that you're not like interested in that sort of energy anymore. Someone knows that that's not really going to work. So something ain't going to work. Uh, all the quick fix solutions, that don't work. You, you can't be sort of manipulated with gifts or sweet little nothings. It's time to switch it up. It's time to change it up. Now, those of you, if this is not about your love life, this could definitely be when it comes to working energies with you. Some of you definitely have some very codependent people around you. But they manipulate you to meet their sort of codependencies. So I don't feel like it's like a healthy codependency when it comes to you. Work vibes. Those of you deciding to maybe do something on your own or some of you, if you're going for that promotion, the one that don't want you to go because they were able to manipulate you. Some of you, this is like going from the assistant to being the boss. This is like going from being secondary to being the main person. This is like going from a, a staying stuck or stagnant to having a lot of beautiful opportunities. Some of you going to school, some of you taking classes. Who kind of hides in your energy? Who needs you so much that they're able to manipulate you to hide in your energy? So that way you don't see the positive in things. If you're going through something on a spiritual level, this is kind of that vibe too. Looking at uh, what what's uh, the positive talk and what is the sort of negative self talk. Uh, yes, there's, there's things you need to be mindful of moving forward, but... Does that really change from where you're at now? So a new opportunity, yeah, there's going to be new things, new choices to be made, new people to meet, but it's no different than the same energy that you're in. Some of you, you're just going to realize the, the codependency once you remove that stuck stagnant energy when it comes to you. It's so beautiful. Make this like uh, something very good for you. 
my creatives out there, some someone needs to do that. Do like the first rom com where you have the sequel. You could like do it like in at the same time or like cut the movie in half. There you have that, and then you have like the reality of the ending. Over top of all that, there's the three of wands. I love this card because it's like the surfer that can read the surf. You know where the rip currents are. You know how to watch for the rip tides. You know if it's time to get out there and uh, get your feet wet or stay on the shore. Ooh, I love your energy, Sagittarius. Take what's yours, leave what's not. It's definitely you centric, so uh, keep that in mind here, uh, Sagittarius. You like you need like room to move, to grow, to expand, to allow that sort of uh, openness around you, uh, establishing some healthier boundaries, giving yourself more room to grow, and being very inspired to do so. So maybe you're reading scripture, maybe you're looking at uh, things from a more spiritual perspective or a more philosophical perspective, or you're really doing the shadow work. You definitely have an uh, angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other. So I feel like you're well aware you're able to make the decisions you need to make here. Someone definitely knows that their shit don't work anymore. So you're done with excuses. You're done with that stagnation. You're done waiting. So a lot of you, the manipulation don't work no more because you figured out how you're being manipulated. The thing is, Sagittarius, I don't think you're really communicating uh, like that out loud. I don't feel like you're living your life out loud right now, but you're figuring out how you're going to live your life out loud. So all of this is about you. It's the things that you do that nobody sees. Some of you, it's the things you do no nobody sees because someone don't want everybody else to sort of see your light. So this is the opportunity that keeps you stuck because, yeah, you're smarter, you're better, you're probably more accomplished, but not of this energy. Ooh, Sagittarius. That's life vibes, though. Uh, good retrograde vibes. So, damn Sagittarius. There's like zero drama to this. That's the thing, too. There's no drama. This is you make a decision and you go do what you do. Learning to be comfortably uncomfortable. So this is about new things. Some of you, once you get away from that stuck stagnant energy, that's going to take you a while to kind of get used to not having that uh, sort of restrictive energy on, right? If you've... Uh, some of you, it's almost like you've been corseted in that for so long. But once you take the corset off, right, and you're able to actually move and feel uh, where you were compressed before. Some of you, this could be like the bottleneck energy that you could be feeling too, uh, which leads to that beautiful awakening energy. Ooh, it's so beautiful with you, Sagittarius. Take what yours, leave what's not. Work, love, life vibes on this. Well, sweet Jesus. Okay, who's like listening to a jukebox or who's got their uh, uh, playlist going here? She got a head in the clouds and she's not backing down. Followed up with a little R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Ooh, the Somewhere Over the Rainbow. This is that last minute uh, attempt to bring in some sort of a reconciliation it was just my imagination running away with me again be mindful of that piscean moon that neon moon vibes and you say it best when you say nothing at all do you have a playlist uh maybe if this ain't your playlist this could be the music someone's listening to thinking about you What's the default song that you normally dance to? We're in that relationship or partnership. If you say, oh, we got a song. 
it's kind of like that energy. The beauty of this is you don't really have to do or say anything. This is more all about you. Someone does not like the fact that you've established healthy boundaries. I mean, how appropriate for these two cards. I mean, that basically sums up the vibe with you, Sagittarius. Eight of Swords with the Capricorn, Eight of Wands there with the Hierophant. Who needs a redo? They're all the time redoing movies and stuff. Someone needs a redo. A favorite rom-com. Like, the reality of it. <laughs> the reality of it, right? So what is this? Moving forward, what do you need to pay attention to? What's, what's the sort of vibe with this? Allow the growth. Allow yourself to uh, make the decisions you need to make. Let's put some angel cards on this. Learning to be comfortably uncomfortable. So the, a lot of you, this is kind of getting out of your uh, uh, safety zone. Looking at things differently. There's a Libra energy and there's the Seven of Swords. The truth and the reality of something. Sagittarius, some of you know who you should trust and who you shouldn't fucking trust. So keep that energy in mind too. Someone's gotten very comfortable in your energy. So once that manipulation is over, it changes everything. The Seven of Swords there with the Libra vibe. Sagittarius, I don't know your fucking life, but some of you, you're talking way too much to the wrong fucking people. So, damn. Anything else? Bottom of the deck there, the Knight of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. Five of Cups, the Magician energy there with the Hermit. Ooh, cause I'm working my way back to you, babe. So sweet Jesus. This is all karmic energy. This is all karmic energy. Sagittarius. So damn. Someone definitely could be faking feelings, faking emotions. So things need to change because the old shit don't work anymore. So playing your favorite song or anything like that that used to be what... uh. Got your attention. A lot of you, that isn't going to work no more. Once you understand where the manipulation is, then you're able to, to kind of know what that vibe is about. Chariot, Queen of Pentacles, they're to the moon vibes. Some of you Sagittarius's, if uh, your partner's Friends, family, whatever the fuck. Some of y'all, it's like the external energy with them that comes in and wants to manipulate. So, some of you be mindful of, uh, I don't know if this is so much your energy, but those around you that you know you can't trust for shit. Especially if they have a uh, really questionable taste in uh, friends, partners. Mm. What's it come down to to you, Sagittarius? Speak less, listen more. See how long the conversation goes. Some of you don't even need to have that conversation. So, closure's for you, and uh, you can get that on your own. Definitely good retrograde vibes. No drama. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign energy. You notice the crustacean right there. So if you're dealing with a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, angel on one shoulder, devil on the other, and there you are, smack dab in the middle with the four of pentacles. That feels like a baseball reference. So some of you are getting ready to hit it out of the park and get that home run. 
Don't stay stuck or stagnant. Someone here really has to muster up and figure out a way to manipulate you as far as your emotions go because something just ain't working anymore. It's Hermit Energy. Maybe it's a Virgo for some of you. This is someone that, you know, something doesn't work. So the same old thing ain't going to work. Perfect retrograde vibes. I don't know. I don't really feel like you're too worried or concerned about anything there. So this is that sort of balanced energy with you. Or you should be finding that balance there with that Libra energy. So moving forward, making smarter decisions. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Some of you, this this could be the astrology with you. Especially if you got strong water placement. So what's your dream? What's your goal? What's your accomplishment? What are you uh, wanting to achieve? What are you looking uh, to achieve? This is let me upgrade you. So some of you, when it comes to work energies... You could be getting a little bit of a sort of kickback if you're wanting to uh, move, uh, change positions, or just change everything completely. Especially if you had a very codependent uh, bunch of people around you. So how's it going to be when Sagittarius isn't there? Oh, what's that song? How's it going to be? Da -da 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 -da. I think that's a 90s song. Ooh. Good luck, God bless Sagittarius. Take what's yours, leave what's not. This is kind of like the reality of something. So learning to be comfortably uncomfortable for a while, starting something new. Some of y'all experiencing something new for the first time. Someone really has to work hard to even try to manifest feelings to come in or they're trying to get a grasp on what the hell they feel or think. But some of you, it's probably, uh, it's not even too little too late. It's like this shit don't work no more. That shit don't work no more. Someone's comfortably in your energy, but that don't work for you anymore. Ooh. Peace, love, and light, Sagittarius. Like, share, subscribe.